Hello, good evening. YouTube has kindly notified me that I'm live. So hello and welcome to you if you're joining me live or whenever you're watching this, you are quite welcome. If you are stopping by this channel, make sure to give me a thumbs up if you like the video or leave the comment below if you, if you have any questions about it. Otherwise, I have put already in the description all the details about the website, which is invvintage.co.uk. In order to buy any items or to bid for any items that you will see in today's collection, you will need to go to the website and join in with your email. Then you will get the information to join the free Facebook group. You can ask me a question and you will actually be able uh, to complete the purchase that way. So without further ado, you can see a blue and white theme. Um, so I've called this collection blue and white. I do apologize for the quality of light. I'm going to try and fix that shortly, but hopefully, uh, my connection is stable and we will be able to do this broadcast without a problem. The first item is boxed. So it's by Compton and Woodhouse. And you guessed it, it's a, it's a plate. It's a commemorative plate that celebrating Queen Mother. So it's a tribute. It's a tribute to Queen Mother. Beautifully detailed plate. This is the back of it. It has a very clear Wedgwood stamp with the year and the, this is done as a tribute. It also comes complete with, the, with its own certificate. I will give you the measurement of it in, in just a second. So it has this certificate of authenticity here that comes with the plate and it comes in a, in a lovely presentation box. So if you're buying this um, as a gift for somebody perhaps or as a prop, um, it, it's good to know that it has its own box as do all of the other plates you will see. Um, so I just wanted to give you the measurement of the plate. It's um, diameter is 22 and a half centimeters. That will be, just bear with me, that's just short of nine inches in diameter. So there she is, lovely queen mother. If I hold it like that, you can see the details. So beautifully glazed and very light and lovely, as you would expect from Edgeworth. Um, so that's a commemorative plate. So that's item number one. Next one is also boxed and it is one of Her Majesty actually. So this is celebrating, I think, Golden uh, Jubilee of, of Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II. Again, very lovely crafted plate by Wedgwood, um, English Pottery Company. There it is. The, I should hold the queen up the right way. Um, so I think the measurement is the same. I will just confirm that for you. Yes, just over 22 centimeters. That is um, just under nine inches. So that is that was the next item. And we have one more commemorative plate. This one is, I believe, Queen Mother. Let's have a look. Also comes in a box, Wedgwood. There must be a little uh, certificate says that this comes with the, it came from Daily Mail. So it was one of the collections they did. So this is celebrating the life of Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth um, the Queen Mother. She was born in 1900 and passed away in 2002, as you can see from that plate. 
I mean, such a beautiful portrait and lovely colors. And again, it's just a beautiful plate for anyone who likes royal memorabilia. This is uh, a must have of, of Queen Mum. It's really, um, really lovely. I think it's uh, such a lovely picture of her. Uh, of her soft face and the smile. So that is um, that is the plates. I'm just going to quickly pop them away so they stay, stay safe. And while I'm here, let's grab this little beauty. This is handmade items. So it's not exactly blue and white it's more <laughs> it's more just cobalt blue this lovely color and it's a candle holder so it's a double candle holder uh, i'm sorry i didn't uh, put any candles in in here it's just this wax and everything is melting because of the heat tonight um, but i will i will take some pictures and put them on the website this week for the um to to show you how it looks so all of the little details in here, the, the leaves and the flowers are handmade. And then you have this lovely um, gold detail around the, the rim and the edges. So beautifully crafted. I'll tell you the dimensions of this. It's not, it's not very large, as you can see I'm holding in my hand. So it's six inches, which is um, 15 centimeters wide um, by, by five and a half centimeters that's just two inches um, like that and I'll tell you the height as well the height is one and a half inches that is um, let's see four centimeters of I wasn't going to guess I'm thinking that's less than five um, so that is that and while we're on the small items here's one very cute little um, vase just for a single stem uh, for a rose or it's very nice for um, small flowers like um, snowdrops or something like that cyclamen those little wild ones they look uh, quite nice in this I'll, I'll tell you the dimensions as well for this so it's 12 centimeters high that is five inches tall and across is two inches so that would be five centimeters so it's a it's a lovely little decorative item to have and it, it would be a lovely prop for photographers i'm sure you know where you can use that there we go and this little this little delight again has gold details it has um six sides i think there must have been a lid at some point but i never uh never had a lid i bought this uh, just as it is and i use it to um hold my brushes or or for pens like that so it's uh, for those people who like blue and white it's just that the thing is i have way too many of them um, so this is one that actually is open for bids so this one is one of those that has a free price point so if you name your price you can place a bid um, I'll, I'll tell you the dimension of of that in just a moment i think the camera is able to catch some of that gold detail there right so this is 10 centimeters, which is four inches across the widest point like this. And the height is three inches and a quarter. That is eight centimeters in height. So it's not a very large object. Um, it just fits nicely on a shelf or um, on the table, on your desk. I have a couple more plates here next to me. So this one is um, mostly white, but uh, it has this lovely, lovely blue detailing. And it's uh, it's a size of, I'm sure it's six inches. It's a size of a uh, um, side dish. Um, it would look nice on a wall or, or to complement the blue and white collection. I'm going to read to you what it says on the stamp. I'm just showing you first. Um, 
it says Maple and Co London. And uh, I was holding the stamp the wrong way up. <laughs> there, now you can see it better. So this is a lovely little plate. It's, it's very light and uh, beautiful. I, I just lo I love the fact that it's mostly white and just has these flowers. I don't have many of those in, in, uh, in my collection. So that is 18 centimeters across that is, I beg your pardon, it's seven inches actually, instead of six as I thought initially. So next one is unusual shape. So it is square. It has this lovely gold edge and the traditional, uh, more traditional willow pattern. Um, and this one is by Adams. Um, so that is, it's called the landscape actually. It's not called a willow, this pattern. And it's by William Adams. That is the, the famous also pottery company from England established in 1657. So it has this um, lovely stamp at the back. There it is, if you want to see it a bit closer. And I'll give you the dimensions in just a sec. So it is, it is square, nine and a half centimeters, uh, sorry, not centimeters, inches. That is 24 centimeters, 24 centimeters across and this way as well. So it's a, it's a perfect serving dish. I, I can see um, muffins or, or for, for display um, purposes is just perfect. Um, now we have a couple more items to go. I think I haven't missed anything. If you were counting, there should be 10 all in all. So this should be item nine and the ball behind me is number 10. Um, I will grab that in just a moment. So I just want to show you the details of, of this one. It's quite um, lovely glaze and a lovely deep blue color. I only have a letter P at the bottom. So I don't actually know where, where this one was made. I remember when I bought it, which was 27 years ago now, I bought it uh, in a shop. Because, I remember because I bought the lamp in that shop as well. Um, but I don't, um, I don't know. Many of the items for in that shop were made in Portugal. So I, I just wonder what the P stands for. But I was thinking all day and couldn't figure it out. So I'm going to give you the dimensions. It's a lovely vase for, um, say, for tulips or, or flowers like that. Let's tilt this a little bit and let's see. So that is just shy of 20 centimeters, which is eight inches exactly in height. Um, and then across, across is four and a half inches in the widest point. That's 11 and a half centimeters across. So it's a it's a lovely, I would say, medium size uh, vase. So for um, spring flowers, I think it's ideal or indeed for, for branches, I like to put greenery in this as well. And then the last but not least is this little jewel. <laughs> I just... Uh, I love this bowl and I like like big size uh, dishes like this. Um, this one, I bought it as an orchid bowl and I have been using it for that purpose. It fits three standard size orchid plants inside. So I do not keep them here all the time. So this is pristine condition inside. I would only put them here uh, for display purposes and then put the moss on top. Otherwise all my orchids sit uh, in, um, in their own single pots. So only when they're flowering, I would make an arrangement. And if I have a function or something, I would uh, I would actually make a display out of them. So I'm just holding it up against my face so you can see the uh, the size of this uh, lovely, beautiful monster, which has all of these, uh, these beautiful uh, flowers pattern. 
outside and on the inside as well. So I'm giving you a good look before I uh, give you the dimensions. I didn't think of bringing my scale, but then again, I don't want to break my kitchen scale. It's quite hefty, this one. Um, I'm afraid I don't know what that stamp means, but uh, if you do, here it is. So I don't know where it's made. I bought it in an antiques fair, um, which was part of uh, Charlton St. Giles Village show, which happens first week in September. So one year I was visiting there and uh, seeing lovely flower displays and everything. And in one, um, one of the marquees, they had antiques going on. So I went for a look and my eye always goes to blue and white. So that is where I bought this one. Um, I have measured it uh, earlier and it's 31 centimeters across, which is exactly, exactly 12 inches on the dot. So that is in, in diameter. And the height of it, it's 14, sorry, I beg your pardon, it's 13 centimeters. And that is, that is, and there we are. Um, so I'm just going to repeat for those who are uh, joining us at different points in this uh, in this stream, that uh, all of these items are available for one week exactly. Next week, when I come back, exactly at eight o'clock London time, which is uh, British summer time, you can check that against your clock wherever you are in the world. Um, next time I come on, so in a week's time, I will be launching another collection. These items um, are first come first served and if they're not um, if they're not sold they're pulled away and the collection goes away and it never comes back again. So they're on offer for one week exactly. If you fancy anything that you have seen here go to the website and then send me the question there or you can um, just subscribe with your email. There is no joining fees or anything like that. You just need to be subscribed so that I can communicate with you and that you can place your bid and com complete the purchase. So if you fancy any of these, go to the website and I'll see you on the inside. Um, otherwise, have a lovely evening. Thank you for watching. And uh, I will definitely be back God willing, next week to see you with a very um, exciting announcement. I'm not going to tell you anything about it, but it's something I have never done. I have never offered, and I'm not sure I will ever offer it again. So again, it will be an opportunity not to be missed because it will be live for one week only. That will That is the coming week I'm talking about. So you really don't want to miss that one. I will see you around. Have a lovely time. Sending you lots of love. Thank you. Bye-bye.